Welcome back, everybody. Uh, uh, in today's video, I want to go over same patterns and um, what I did right and what I did wrong. Um, so, in the title that you've seen on the cover, five sixty five hundred sixty four dollars. I was up on plug. Um, you can see all my trades right here, um, and then I'm gonna tell you what I did wrong on the trade so starting off um, I held 100 shares overnight on plug I added 100 shares so that's 200 shares short um, on the second on the second candle I added another 300 shares so at this time right here when plug hit 2716 I was up $564 um, I did not expect this quick of a retest back up so right now I'm currently down on, on the position. Usually when I see two huge sell candles, it definitely doesn't retest like this. Um, so kind of got caught. Um, I don't know if it was greed or what, but I, I didn't expect that. Um, so all I can do is react to what I think is going to happen. So what I think is going to happen is we should see um, hopefully some kind of pullback. If it don't, I guess I'm going to get stopped out of the trade and take a loss. Um, so should I took profits right here? High science always 2020. Yes, I should have, but in the stock market, you never know what's going to happen. So future note to self. Um, should have took the profits but it is what it is so what i want to show you is how identical these two patterns are on the spy and on plug so this right here and this right here and then this sell off and the sell off so this is pretty much like almost identical patterns so that's the reason why i trade a lower lower price stock that I that is identical to the spy um, but I just wanted to highlight this pattern for you guys um, so yeah we'll have to see obviously what the spy does today I mean if the, it's definitely holding that support so hopefully it'll retest backwards before it pushes higher but I don't know what's gonna happen so, to give you a little update, I'm 600 shares short. Average price 27.86. Uh, um, I'm thinking if we do pull back 27.60 to 27.40 is probably going to be it. If it does pull back, um, I definitely will be taking profits there. If it don't, I'm probably going to be stopped out at. Either 2860, or what I'm going to do is short add in these 2927s. Um, I'll have to see how the candles react, but if I do add, um, I don't know. It just sucks going from a huge winner to a loss. But it is what it is. Um, I wanted to show you guys uh, NTRB. why I traded this one um, so yesterday I lost $74 on this stock um, so see this huge consolidation right here as long as it keeps holding that in my eyes it's super bullish so uh, yes so on Friday it had this huge spike and then it on Monday it fell but it, it held pretty good support right here if you go to one year thing, I'll show you where I got my support. So these two red candles and this red candle. I'm thinking as long as it holds this 867, it's very, very bullish. Um, so that's why them two lines are drawn right there. So when it's holding this right here, in my eyes, it's super, super bullish. If it cracks under eights, Obviously, he's bearish. So yesterday, 
I bought at the high, I pulled back, sold, and then it consolidated. I ripped again, I bought again. Um, it barely broke that high, pulled back, and now it's just consolidating. So the longer this consolidates in here, I think the stronger the move is to the high side. So I'm definitely, I definitely have this one on watch. Um, as long as I hold this eight, these two lines right here, I'm still very bullish on the stock. Um, if it cracks it, I'm very, very bearish on the stock. So uh, I just wanted to point this one out to you for anybody that's a long bias trader. This one's definitely on my radar. Um, and then another one on my radar. is IMMX. This one has a lot more volume, but same concept. It had a huge spike yesterday, but it's still pushing higher support. So as long as we get higher support, uh, if 730s turn in support, I think this goes way higher than 868. So both of these NTRB and uh, I'll just So both of these are on my radar as long as the support keeps going higher. Um, if the support cracks, obviously it's going to be bearish. So give you guys a little update on uh, a big winner from yesterday that turned into a pretty big mistake. And then uh, two stocks that are definitely showing uh, higher support. So. You never know, but that's what I got going on. Um, give you guys a little update on uh, how the beginning of the year started. So until next time, traders, peace.